I never sing in the right pitch, but I always have the right pitch prop. Stick around to find out how to get the proper propeller pitch. Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. And all the time we get people who want to get a new prop, whether they've damaged one or they think it'll improve the performance. And they really don't understand that there really are only very few propellers that will work with each individual boat. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why that is. And I'm gonna give you a brief science lesson on how a propeller drives the boat forward and what some of the terms mean like pitch and diameter and give you an idea of what to look for when you're buying a prop for your boat. So when you're buying a propeller for a boat, you have a number of different things that you're looking at. You're looking at the material. Is it aluminum? Is it stainless? Or perhaps it's bronze. You're looking at the diameter and that is the overall diameter of the propeller from one blade tip to another. You're looking at the pitch, and that is a number which tells you approximately how much water it'll push with every revolution. And you're also looking at the number of blades. And we're not gonna talk about blades too much on this, that'll be another video. But if you wanna know more about proper pairs and when you should have it done, check out this video here. So let's talk about diameter. Diameter is the, the overall size of the propeller. And usually, the larger diameter propeller you have, the more water it'll push, particularly at low RPM and speeds. And large diameter propellers are great for heavy loads, they're great for maneuvering around the dock, and they're great for pulling. Typically speaking, when you want performance and you want to go fast, you look at slightly smaller diameter propellers to allow for faster top end speed and less drag. So now let's talk a little bit about pitch. The pitch of a propeller is, in theory, for one revolution, how far in a solid that would travel. So let's take this propeller that shows us that it is a 26 pitch prop. So if this was going through a piece of plastic or a piece of wood, and you rotated it one time, it would travel 26 inches. So when you have a smaller pitch propeller, say a 13 pitch, for every revolution, it travels a shorter distance. And when you have a really big pitch propeller, like a 29, for every revolution, it pushes a longer distance. So think about that. The RPM in your boat maximum is set by the manufacturer. So if your engine will rotate at 5,000 RPM, and that's reduced through your lower unit gear ratio, Every time it goes around, it's going to push the boat a certain distance. So the higher the pitch, the more top end speed you have. What's true about boats though, are, is that there are no gears. So this is the only gear you have. So for every revolution, whether you are idling at the dock, or whether you're going tubing speed, or you're going wide open throttle, that is the gear in which you're driving. So picture it like a bicycle it's like having a one speed bike. If you had a bike that had only one tall gear, say 10th speed, it would be much, much harder to push, but once you got up to speed, you would be able to go a lot faster. If you had a bike that only had a small gear, say it's second gear, it would be very easy to accelerate it and very easy to push, but you couldn't go very fast because you'd be running your legs very quickly. The same is true for props. And that's why when people ask us, I'd like to change my prop pitch, it's like saying, I always want to run in a different gear on my bike. There really is only one ideal gear for each engine. And that is a pitch and diameter that will get the boat up on plane properly, accelerate, and not over or under rev at wide open throttle. And in theory, there's only one perfect prop for one boat load or usage. You can play with it a little bit, perhaps go slightly smaller pitch to get a little bit more hole shot, 
or perhaps you can go slightly higher pitch to get a little bit more top end speed. But be very, very careful when you do that because it will change the way your engine performs. The weight and size of your boat is gonna determine the pitch that is correct. The engine power and the engine gear ratio through your drive is all gonna have an impact on what pitch prop works best. And typically, when you buy a boat new from a manufacturer, it will have tested each engine combination and provide the right pitch prop. When you're buying a used boat, make sure you lake test it, watch this video here on that process, to see if it gets up to the right RPM range. So you're gonna to want to make sure that that the boat accelerates properly and gets on plane properly and gets up to wide open throttle RPM that the manufacturer specifies. If it doesn't do those things, you may have the wrong pitch prop on the boat or there might be an engine running issue. So our advice to you is be very careful when switching props. If you have a boat that's underperforming, don't automatically assume that by switching the propeller it will give you a result. So you're gonna to wanna to talk to a marine dealership professional, tell them what your boat is, how long it is, how heavy it is, what engine you have, and what current pitch prop you have. You're gonna to wanna to show them the prop diameter, its rotation, which is either right hand or left hand, and its pitch. And the other thing you're gonna to need to know is when I go at wide open throttle, what RPM is my engine running? So don't go into a dealership expecting to have a discussion about propellers without having all those pieces of information with you. If you wanna know more about aluminum versus stainless propellers, check out this video here. Thanks for joining us on today's Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Make sure you subscribe to get on board for more of these type of videos. If you like today's video, make sure you throttle that like button, get out on the water, have fun, and stay safe.